What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, I'm about to head out to Lone Star RC Hobbies to go pick up the remaining pieces for this Revo. This thing is going to be freaking awesome. But yeah, I don't really have a plan. Uh, I, I just figure since he has the parts for it, he probably got a new shipment of orders. We're, I'm going to bring you guys with me. Maybe we'll pick something up. But I did get this. I did get this in the mail. This is a package. This is an RC package. And while I open this, I would like to mention that I finally got a personal mailbox. And I put my personal mailbox info in the description below. If you guys want to send me anything to unbox or you guys just want me to send me something to show on, on a video, feel free to send it. That is my personal mailbox. It will go directly to me. And uh, yeah, that should, that should bring some pretty cool content. I'll have like mail day, but here's what we got today. Oh man, much needed stuff. Hinge pins. Really, these are just spares. I got an extra front bumper. Oh, red springs for the EB48 2.0. I think I'm gonna run these in the front. Someone told me these are the ones to run, so I ordered them. But this is what we were waiting for. Finally, they came in. These are the 25 tooth servo horns. This is for the Protec servo. The aluminum ones that I really needed really bad. They finally got them back in stock. I ordered five of them. These are actually the better ones. These are actually the better ones because they come with a four millimeter uh, set screw to tighten it. They don't strip out. These are much better. I think I got five of these. Let me see. Yeah, I got five. More spares, more spares. These are the weird bearings that come on the new 2.0 vehicles. And then these are the screws, cap head screws. I know they're just screws, but these are the screw size that you need to run the flange nut on the rear part of like where the uh, turn, where the camber link links to the shock tower. If you need a longer screw to run that flange nut, these are the, these are the screws right here. They should be 22 millimeters. So they're they're three by 22 millimeter uh, metric screws. You need those. That's pretty much it. Everything else is just spare stuff that I feel like I have to have. So let's head out to Lone Star Hobbies to go pick up the stuff. Maybe we'll find something cool to buy. So I got my parts. They're all in here. These are all the parts that I need to rebuild the Revo that I have, the one that I've turned into a Platinum. But I couldn't go in the shop because there's cops everywhere on this lockdown stuff. And it's because there's this down here at the end. Down there, they have a salon that's opening against the uh, against the order. So they have like news stations. They said there was a helicopter out here earlier this morning. There's all different types of police and like people holding a lot of guns down there pretty crazy so i didn't get to go shopping but i did get my part so we'll work on the reboot when we get home but it's it's nuts out here guys guys check this timing out those are my parts that i just got from lone star right that's the body i was about to start painting the body for my revo and i just received that package back there that is that should be the rest of the parts for those two revos that grim the noble sent me big thanks to grim the noble for sending me those revos to rebuild that's that's awesome he just gave them to me so I'm excited to see what's in there. I might not even needed all those parts that I just ordered. So let's see what's in that box. All right, I gotta be strategic with this because I don't want to open it up so y'all can see all the addresses. Um, let me move this out of the way. Man, this thing, I'll put the shocks on there. All right. Oh, this thing looks good. Looks real good. Put that over there. I still haven't put those techno parts up, but let's open this box up. Here's the box. Again, I'm gonna try to be Strategic so y'all don't see the addresses. I don't know how I don't want to have to Blur it out in the video. That's always a pain in the butt Whoa There is a lot of crap in here There you go perfect. So let's see what we got in here uh, I don't know. Oh look at this. This looks like An engine head maybe Super cool gigantic engine head looks like for a 3.3 a little pitted on the bottom. Probably won't use that, but that was nice him. Got TQ. This is the old school TQ radio. This is the one that uses actual crystals. The yellow crystals. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Look at this. Ooh, it's oily. Set it here. But that's a 3.3 engine in a million pieces. Let's see what else. We got a whole bunch in here, guys. So... Some drive shafts. Oh, the shock post needed that. Looks like easy start, maybe some gears. Fuel line, oh yes, I need this bad. This is the fuel tank, but this is the 125cc. I actually ordered the 150cc from Lone Star. That's a weird servo, I've never seen that one before. 
Look, an AE servo. He gave me some servos. Check out this gigantic glow plug nighter. Looks like he gave me two glow plug nighters. That's kind of a cool one there. Uh, oh yeah, I need the bumpers. Definitely need the bumpers. I definitely needed this piece, which has a crap ton of oil on it. Dang it. Servos galore. Thanks for sending me the servos. These are always good. These are 20, here's a 2075. That's a good servo. I'm not sure about these associated servos. I will pay it forward and give them away to somebody. Whole bunch of gears and stuff in here. Not sure what I need in there. A rusted easy start. I'm not gonna pull all this stuff out because there's just a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's see what else we got in here. More servos. Yeah, I'll be giving some servos away, guys. Oh, look at the receiver without the antenna. Yes! The rear bumper! I need this! I have the front bumper. Thank you, I needed that really bad. Battery cover. Air filters. Let's see what else we got in here. More easy starts. Easy start plate. Easy start wire. More servos. I want to test all those servos. I don't even know if those are any good. The drive shafts. I just ordered these, but these are the shorter drive shafts. You actually need the longer ones, so I ordered the longer ones, so that's good. And then like some diff pieces, so yeah. Good stuff in here. So I'm mostly excited about the gas tank because I knew I was down a gas tank. All those servos, super cool. Really wanted this bumper bad. This is the RPM bumper. I have the front bumper on this one, see? See, I had the front bumper on it. I was gonna put the rear bumper on it. See, I have the, I was like, man, that looks so bad. So I really wanted this bumper to make sure it matched. He gave me the bumper, super cool. Um, oh yeah, I needed this piece. I need this piece really bad. I ordered one of these. Uh, maybe I'll use this one. Maybe I'll open up another one. Oh, here's another one. Look, I got two of them. Perfect. The the bar, the crossbar off top. I need to open that anyways for that. So, yeah, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Thanks a lot. I keep calling him Grim the Noble because that's his alias. I don't want to tell him tell you guys his real name because that's personal information. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Super cool. I'm stoked guys. I am stoked. I'm going to test all these servos. I want to see if these servos work. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the specs are. Actually, I'll do a whole new video on the servos. I'll go through all the specs and I'll give some away. I'll give some away to you guys who need some servos because I'm not going to use an associate <laughs> servo. So yeah, sweet. Now I can definitely, man, this right here, I'm so excited about this. Check out these servos I got. I, again, I know nothing about these servos except for this one, 2075, which that's a good servo. It's not good for a monster truck, but it is one of the better servos that Traxxas offers. All these I know nothing about. They're AES 1903s. They are heavy, so they do feel like, yeah, they're Metal Gear, which is a plus. Looks like I have an Ace RC 1903. Don't know what that one is. Check this one out. This one just says Servo. 3003 not sure what these are worth not sure what the specs are on them but i'm gonna go through them and let you know what they are all right so i looked up the specs on this aes 1903 mg servo and they are less than impressive <laughs> i mean i got them free i'm not complaining i'll give them out to you guys but the torque is 41 ounces of torque which to put in perspective you probably need at least 300 ounces on a monster truck and then the speed is 0.19, which on race servos you want it at least, I would say 0.1 or lower. Um, the servos I run in my in my actual race stu stuff, I believe they're over 500 ounces, maybe four something, four 450 ounces, and 0 0.7, 0 0.07. So they're yeah, these are not there. I don't I don't even know what they're gonna be good for. <laughs> I don't even know if they're good enough for throttle, but nonetheless, I got it for free. Super cool. I've never seen the servo, but. I think that's it guys. Hopefully in the next video I'll actually have this thing running. I'm gonna to try to put it all together. I gotta to paint the body. I've got I wanna do the full green, the green body, that lime green body with the lime green beadlock wheels on it. That was my favorite looking Revo. I blew my old green Revo body up, like it's all beat to heck. So I wanna paint another one and and get this one up to spec and up and running. So super excited about that. So hopefully in the next video I'll have this thing running and some actual footage of me driving it. So Hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.